And who gave the, which comes from the state, which comes, from the, Fed, which comes from the feds, which comes from the constitution, which came from the people, right? Mm -hmm. And the people secured the blessings of liberty to themselves. Yeah, so... so the, uh, the preamble? Yeah, what, what about it? They secured the blessings of liberty to themselves. So... You don't secure the blessings of liberty so, to yourself. So, so, no, it was I'm secured not, to, to you by the people. I'm not out to serve myself in any way. I'm actually one of the... Okay, so that courthouse down there... When they put us on the stand, we're just like everybody else. We're no, witness. You're not. It doesn't matter who we arrested or whatever. We're witness, just like everybody else. All we, what we do is we enforce the law. The laws come from the people. That's they come from the people. Yeah, that's where they come from. But I you're missing the key point here: is the people had the power to give themselves the power. Okay, they didn't. It wasn't given to them by somebody. The people are the end of the line. Okay, they secured the blessings of liberty to themselves. And then they gave you the power to establish justice. Because, see, we the people, in order to establish justice, hereby ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America, right? So, see, they're giving the authority to establish justice to the government, right? But the people, nobody gave them the authority to give the authority to the government. They had it. Right? See, that's called sovereignty. Yeah, so... Yeah, right? Man, uh, so the people yeah. have sovereignty. Yeah, we're, and we're, the state does not. Yeah, we're, we're a sovereign nation, man. No, the people are sovereign. Yeah. This, the government is referred to that way, but they don't truly have sovereignty because their, peop their power comes from the people. So... The way I see the it, people are the true sovereigns. So the, the way I see it is I'm at the beck and call of the people. I'm at the, the beck, beck and call, call of the community. Of if they ask me to go somewhere, I don't I don't say I am not gonna go there or man, that sounds dangerous. I gotta but go. But there's a difference, see, because the go. people would never ask you to, to, to protect them. Somebody has the to the citizens ask you to protect somebody them. Somebody has to The citizens so, are the sheep. So, you are the wolves and the people are the shepherds. So, so, okay. so uh, the shepherds. Wolves, wolves are wolves to me are those who would do harm and prey on the sheep. That's that's what a wolf is to me. Well, uh, we some sheep. You need away. to eat. Yeah. So no, no. You so need to eat. The, the, the wolves are the ones that keep the uh, the wolves are the ones that uh, the sheep dogs are the ones that keep the people uh, the uh, the wolves away. I'm sorry. Yeah. The, to me, wolves are the ones that prey on the pe on the sheep, and that's what I'm here to stop. And I know because I've seen it firsthand. You've seen up, it firsthand. Now, I've, what? I'm asking you, seen it firsthand, you said? Yeah, I've, I've seen, so wolves are those that no, are you said you out to, yeah, I've seen it firsthand, I've been a cop for Growing years. up, but you said growing like, up. Yeah, growing up also. I grew up in a nasty neighborhood. You mean you saw cops preying on the sheep? No, I've been there when people were breaking into houses and trying to hurt other people. People don't break into houses. Criminals break into houses. They're, they are then uh, criminals. Yeah, so yeah, they're not they're, people. They're they're they're, they're, they're persons. They're persons. Human beings. They're human beings. They're human and beings. They're, they're choosing to break the law. The word Thus, human being isn't people. in the constitution. Yeah, so, but no, but but you're saying we brought up wolves, sheepdog. If you yeah, want to this is an example, sheep, right? Yeah, and yeah, we're talking about the sheepdog prerogative now. Then then the uh, wolves. Just Fine, you want to call criminals wolves, and you're the you sheepdog. You referred to police officers. Wolves. All right, let's wolves. call you the sheepdog, and the criminals the wolves, and the citizens the sheep, and the people are the shepherd. Okay, the sheepdog does not attack the the shepherd. The sheepdog is there to keep the wolves away from the sheep. Sure, but it does not attack the shepherd. I work for the sheep. No, you work for the shepherd. The shepherd owns okay. the sheepdog. So I, I don't. I, the the sheep, sheep don't own the sheepdog. That's the most ridiculous I'm, thing I've ever heard. I'm here. I'm here. You protect the sheep. I do protect the sheep. You work for the shepherd. So uh, a sheepdog works for the shepherd. I'm this is sheep, your man. example. So, so, no, 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 no. But you, you refer to the police officers as wolves. And then I said I'll change it for your yeah, benefit yeah. here, and no. we'll call the criminals the wolves. The citizens are the sheep. Yeah, we're you, the police are the sheep dogs, and the people yeah. are the shepherds. So I'm here to protect the flock, man. To I protect do. the flock yeah, and to serve the shepherd. 
So to serve the people. If, if you want to call it, if you want to call it how it is, and you want to call it true, I work for the people. You like work, said, for the people, work for the people, and you boss. protect the citizens. Protect the, people. the citizens. Protect the, people. the people don't ask their servants to protect them. The people protect themselves. So I, there, That's why they have a Second Amendment so right to, bringing, to bear arms. So, I don't bring, so to me, the people is anyone who picks up that phone and dials 911. To me, the person, a, a, it doesn't matter if they're a, a citizen of the United States or not. If somebody's a That's right. Of crime, they're Any a person. Of crime. Any they're human a being. Can so, call you and, and ask you. For. Yeah. So yeah, th that's who I'm working for, man. So uh, like I said, I have a mission and, and I have a responsibility that's been entrusted to me. It's not easy to earn a badge by any means. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. You're You've been a, awesome, man. Really. You're, you're in a good. You're in a good city. I'm gonna let you know that. Right I now. I mean I think I haven't seen any issues here. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. I don't think every officer is gonna be like you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Press on. I think this guy's got poison oak. Where'd you come from? Where were you? New Bronzeville Fire Department, Mobile Intensive Care Unit. He said he wasn't in bushes, but... He could have been in bushes um, yesterday or something, you know, but yesterday was really weird. There was a straight infestation of uh, crickets or grasshoppers. I'm not sure. I think they were grasshoppers, but they were, well, no, I think they were crickets, but they were freaking everywhere like millions of them I mean the ground was just covered with them last night I don't really believe in coincidences but a massive bug infestation and um this guy looks like he's, he looks like poison up to me, I don't know, but, I mean, it's like all over him, all over him. Looks like they're going to take him bye-bye. So, this is vehicle 12401, Medic 5. New Bronzeville Fire Department. Yeah, yeah. Press on. Right. So they don't have the emergency lights on, though. That's good. Alvarado, how you doing? How you doing? You're a little early, man. What's up? I just laughed because yeah, you must uh, you must record him a few times. They everybody told me that he goes, Was that your friend? I said, No, I just met him and stuff the other day. And he goes, Oh, well, he was recording me the whole time. I was like, Oh, that's what he does. Yeah, I record the police, man. He asked you about me? Nah, he was just saying that he noticed you were recording on the ambulance. 
Oh, yesterday, the ambulance. Right. Yeah. Well, we have to um, keep an eye on our government, you know? Make sure they're doing things right. You're all... It's all gone? Even better than... uh, They didn't want to put an IV in me in the ambulance. I hate that. That shit hurts. They didn't want to put an IV in you? Yeah, I didn't need one until I got some. When I go in the diabetic keto acidosis, they want to do one right here and there, and it's a damn uh, 16 gauge instead of 20. I'll tell you what, that hurts. <laughs> it hurts. So, what was it that you had? Did they hurts. figure it out? Allergy. Oh, allergies. I bet I got something off the concrete. Off the concrete? Because, like, I've been under my like, bridges and stuff, and if I touch my skin, I, I break up the hive. I never all over my body. Huh. Because you were sitting on the concrete? You were sitting on the concrete? You might go sit on it again. All right. I ain't got a choice. You ain't got a choice? I ain't got to eat somehow. I've never gone without any food. And I've never sat on concrete holding a sign. I don't have a check, man. I don't have a check. You got something coming. No. People don't just help me out. Well, that's That's, because you're not giving them a chance. Huh? You're not giving them a chance. No, I've given people a chance. They don't give me a chance. They don't give you a chance. I got that one backwards. Yeah. I've had, like, I've had a few people help me out, but I've had hell in my life. You've had hell in your life? Yeah. Like, it was a job, right? How are you doing? Good, how about you? Not like that. Oh, thank Going you. On. Temperature's cooling off a little bit outside. It is cooling off a little bit outside. How are you doing today, Malika? I'm existing still. You're existing still? That never changes? No. You're never doing good? I mean, existing can mean good or bad. You mean good or bad? Today, it's pretty good. Today, it's pretty good? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You're still existing. All right. It's just Pike. Just Pike? Yeah. All right. Where am I at? Oh, hey. Uh, okay, I'm asking if we have the unicorn frappuccino. Unicorn frappuccino? Who's asking about that? I don't know. Some kids. Oh, yeah? I heard they don't taste that great, but they look pretty cool. When I first heard about them, I was like, I really want to try it. You really wanted to try it? That was a while ago. That was like three years ago. Did you try it? No, I never got to. You never got to? Did you want room? Yeah, about that much. I never argue with baristas. I'll give you an extra cup. Oh, excellent. Thank you, Malika. You're welcome. So you're reading up at Starbucks. Always. Always. When does your youth program start? It's always going. Oh, it's yeah. always going? Mm-hmm. Yeah, these uh, these young men and women are, are uh, immersing themselves in the, uh, the culture of law enforcement. Yeah, so immersing themselves in the culture of law enforcement. Yeah. Yeah, it's an ongoing thing. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Right. Let's see. The 
if I'm correct. I think I am. Can I talk to Joanna real quick? All right. Huh? Sure. Yeah. How are you today, Precious? Doing all right? Yeah, yeah. She's not going to call the police on me again, is she? Um, have you done anything? Well, she asked me not to roll tobacco on the table. Okay. And I said I never argue with baristas, and then she called the police. I talked to the cop about it. Okay. You know, that's really inappropriate. Starbucks got bias training on May 18th uh, of last year about calling the police uh, when there's no crimes committed. Um, you know, the police come and they kill people. They beat people up, right? It's um, it's not good. Not everybody likes the police. Not everybody you know what I mean? Likes the police. Right. That and goes against their policy. Well, actually, it's not. Um, people can have packs of cigarettes on the table. They can have tobacco on the table. It's a no smoking zone. I'm well briefed in Starbucks policies. I've been to over 250 of them. Um, I make a point not to break any of the rules. The three rules of Starbucks are no offensive gestures, no offensive language, no sleeping, and no smoking. And um, the cops are never to be called unless there's a crime. And if you want somebody to leave, you ask them to leave. But nobody asked me to leave. They yes. just called the police. And she was, she was aware of that. That's what he told them, that she's not allowed to ask you to leave, that she is. Um, we're just doing what we're told. So if she's told that there's no tobacco in... But I said I wouldn't do it. Okay. And then she called the police anyway. You know, I never argue with you guys, right, about anything at all. But then you called the police, and that's what I do. I film the police, and so now things changed, right? Because you, you got law enforcement involved. You got government involved, right? Well, they're not really involved. No, they are. You made a call to the police. Now there's reports. Now there's things like that. See, there's you went outside problem. of your policy. Well, not you. Joanna's the one who called. But there is no report. Oh, you, oh you're an expert? No, I'm an expert oh, on what there. the police do. Okay? The police, there's a call log. There's a call number. Well, I film the police every day. I know exactly what they do. Um, you know, confrontational is the truth. Sometimes it's confrontational, and I do want an answer on why the police were called on me. But if you want me to leave, just ask me to leave. It's okay, right? Like, yeah. But I never would trespass, you know, and I wasn't trespassing. Nobody asked me to leave. They just called a man with guns. Thank you for letting us know that. Well, I'm um, not just letting you know. I mean, this video is going to go absolutely freaking viral because Starbucks has done it again. You guys didn't learn anything on May 18th. You said you were there, and then yet you're calling the police over no crime, over somebody that's been really nice to you guys the entire time, haven't I? I am very sorry to feel that Have way. I not been nice to you at, since the beginning? I just have to read the So if you don't mind, I'll be back with you. Oh, so is Joanna going to talk to me, or She'll am I, right should I leave, or what? She'll be right on But do I need to leave? I'm not asking you to leave. Okay, you're not asking me to leave. All right. Well, I don't want to break any laws, you know do you what mind I mean? Waiting? I don't mind waiting as long as she's not back there calling the police. So you just wait here all right, all right. Do what you do, precious. Thank you. Right. She is, isn't she? See, look at her. Joanna, you called the police on me? I did not call the police. I called a non-emergency police. But you called the police. A man with gun came here. Did I commit a crime? Well, you are uh, disrespecting the policy that Starbucks has. You asked me not to do it, and I said I wouldn't. Yes, I said I don't argue with baristas. 
that is perfectly legal. Anywhere I have a, a lawful right to be, I can record too. If you're asking me to leave, I don't see these cameras right there. Did they ask you? Did they ask me? I will leave now. But now you're, you're she's, who is the manager here? Who is the manager? This conversation is being a little Who is the store manager? Her car is right up there. I thought that was just Joey Poor, the district manager. That is the district. But who's the store manager? Yeah. Raquel? Raquel is our store manager. Alright, thank you, Precious. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Joey Poor. Busy today? Or you haven't gotten to work yet? I'm sorry? I said you haven't gotten to work yet. No, no, I'm running late for work. Running late? Yeah. But you gotta get your coffee. What do you drink? Uh, a pumpkin one this morning. A pumpkin one this morning? All right. Yeah, yeah. What department are you on? I, I work with animals. Oh, you work with animals? Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, all right. So all right. when the police get out of line and they start acting like animals, we call you? There we go. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. A nice Jeep. Yeah, yeah. Press on. We got gang activity. 1906. It's a uh, Bryant. What did he pull you over for? Huh? Tags? It's the third one tonight for that same reason that I've seen. Yeah. Expired? Has he been nice? Has he been nice? Did he tell you his name? It's Officer Bryant. I film them every day, man. Press on is my YouTube. Press on, dude. I have 6,000 subscribers, man. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You watch YouTube? Yeah? Yeah, press on, man. Hit the subscribe and the bell. Yeah, yeah. You'll love my videos, dude. I just posted one tonight. Tell him his name. Shocking. How long have you guys been here? How long have you been pulled over for? Oh, okay. Not very long. All right. Yeah, are you doing all right, Bryant? Not too bad. Not too bad. FTO Bryant. So I think he's giving him a fixture ticket. So this is the third stop I've seen tonight. He's got a weird stance. I think he signed a ticket. He's probably free to go as soon as he moves. Just a fix a ticket. Fix a ticket. Yeah. That's cool. All 
All right. Did you find my YouTube? You have your phone? It's called Press On. Two words. See my picture with the beard? Oh, press on. Wait. Did you uh, change the... Go to the three lines in the top right-hand corner and change the type to channel. See where it says type? It's at the top. Change that to channel and then apply. And there's my picture right there. Yeah. I'm posting on Austin right now. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Police and the police. Police and the police, <laughs> dude. Yeah, yeah. I, I call it um, pressing on them. See, yeah. you know, um, in you know, the more subscribers I have, the bigger my presser gets, mm-hmm. right? Because like, if nobody's, you know, if you have a little presser, nobody cares. <laughs> if you have a big presser, then you can press slap them. Yep. You know what I mean? <laughs> By the time I post this, I'll probably have fifty thousand subscribers, man. Because I'm, I'm way, way back. Uh, you know, I have a backlog of videos from Austin. And um, so, but I never post in a town when I'm in the town. They're vindictive. You know how police are, but hell yeah, man. I'm glad you didn't get a uh, a real ticket. Dude. Yep. A fix it ticket, though. As long as you fix it, it's not going to cost you anything. Have a good night. Press on. How are you doing today, officer? Good, how are you? Good. What are you drinking? Vanilla sweet cream cold brew. Vanilla sweet cream cold brew. That's the good stuff, man. I used to be addicted to that myself. That cold brew. One of those to wake up every now and then. You just starting? You just starting, or are you getting off? Came on at eight. Oh, came on at eight. Eight to eight. Yeah, yeah. Any crimes tonight or what? So far, not yet. So far, not yet? A lot of minor accidents. A lot of minor accidents? On the freeway? Yeah, here and there. Here and there? That sucks, man. I hope nobody was, was hurt. Nobody was hurt? Yeah, yeah. You look a little sleepy. <laughs> you work some overtime lately? All right, all right. I um, I read a report that um, lack of sleep is actually has the same effects as being drunk. Just after like fourteen hours of being awake. Fourteen hours? Just fourteen hours? I mean, if we only get eight hours of sleep in a day, that would be up for sixteen hours. Of being, I think of being awake. I think it's like 14 hours. 14 hours of being awake? All right, all right. I read that a long time ago, I think. You read that a long time ago? Are you, uh, are you working with uh, Blackwood tonight? Uh, Officer Blackwood? No, I didn't think that. Oh, he's not on tonight? Okay. I, I've been seeing him in here. I know he comes in, but not usually until like 10.45. But he's really nice. I like him. You from around here? I've never seen you before. You from around here? I'm from my mom. What's that? I'm from my mom. <laughs> I um. Well, I don't um. Some people would say that they're from Texas, that they're a Texan, uh-huh. and some people would say that they're in Texas, right? And see, I don't give the place credit for me right because the place didn't have anything to do with me you know what I mean and those are, those are what we call identity statements right so like if um, like if you say you're a police officer that's an identity statement right as opposed to you do police work right and so let's say one day if you think you're a police officer and then one day you're unable to be a police officer, it could have a heavy effect, right? See, when we lose our identity, 
sometimes we end up in the fetal position on the floor. You know, like a housewife that says she's a housewife, right? And then her husband divorces her, and then she doesn't know what she is anymore. You see what I mean? So, I mean, I, you know, was taught those same things that, like, we are what we do. We are where we're from. And um, one by one, I've tried to eliminate those from my vocabulary because they can be very harmful, right? So, like, take um, Hurricane Katrina, right? And there was thousands of people in the Metrodome that wouldn't leave because that was their home, right? See, they identified with New Orleans instead of just walking away and leaving, you know what I mean? That's how powerful an identity can be. Hope you have a good evening. You too, officer. What, what was your name? Melendres. Melendres. Thank you. Press on. What is it that you say? You're like, press on. And you're like, yeah. Press, press on. on Symbol forth. <laughs> legion about. Legion about. Sound off. Amble. Amble. Pursue happiness with your life and your liberty on your property. And for God's sakes, exercise your Fourth Amendment right as one of the people not to be in your person. Whatever that means. Press on. Yeah, yeah. Have a good day, Officer Fox. Press harder. Press now. Like, comment, subscribe. Spread the word. Right? Press on. Press on. Master by the name of Bates, smoking more than all 50 states. Combined, yeah, right, I gotta stay on the grind. I got no money, so my weed's on my mind. I hit the club, but you know I can't dance. Seven and seven in my cutoff chance. Had a shirt in my long ass hair, well, part of how I look makes you think I care. <laughs> <laughs>